What's going on guys? Double T here. So the reason for this video is because via my buddy John aka Grim Music, uh, check him out if you haven't. Very talented, awesome guy, super talented. You'd love his music. Um, he reposted uh, Jelly Roll's story on Instagram and I hadn't seen it through Jelly Roll's Instagram. I had come across uh, Grimm's page first. So I saw it there and it really touched me, man. It really, really spoke to me. It meant a lot to me personally uh, as a musician and just as a music fan and lover. And uh, I just wanted to talk about it because it was it's really an important topic that's pretty much being totally swept under the rug in my opinion. Uh, and I'll play that video clip for you which is a little over a minute long right now. So for those of y'all that know me, y'all know that I promote peace and prosperity. I'm a loving guy. I believe love is the answer to everything. And that's because I spent my previous life wrapped up in violence and drug dealing. So here recently, a lot of people have asked me, what do you think about such and such beefing with such and such and such and such beefing with such and such. And honestly, y'all, from the bottom of my heart, I think that shit is corny as fuck. And I'll tell you why. Because where I'm from and how I came up, they're not really beefing. I've had people I loved. I've had to carry their casket because of beef. I have friends doing 50, 60, 70 years because of beef. What these dudes are doing is not beef. They're a bunch of egos screaming on the internet and making songs about each other. And as an elder in this game, that shit is lame, y'all. That shit is not helping anything or anybody, y'all. Personally, that's not what the fuck music's about anyways, man. Music's therapy, man. It's to fill a void that people need, whether it's something to ride to, something to cry to, something to get high to, something to get sober to, something to park to, something to help them get them through a bad day. Man, we have so much power as musicians. Like, we have so much influence in how we can make people feel. And y'all motherfuckers want that shit? Come on, man. We can all do a little better, man. World needs a little more love, man. A little less of the bullshit. Dead ass, man. I love you motherfuckers. Okay, so in this video, Jelly is talking about, you know, in this genre, there's just a lot of beef in rap you know, particularly, but, you know, especially in this country rap world right now, there's a lot of beef going on. And for those of you who don't know, I obviously played with Upchurch, but before that, when I was 19 years old, I played with Big Smo, and that was in about 2012. So country rap wasn't very popular at all then, and it was just starting to even become a thing, in my opinion. It was nothing like it is today, and it's very cool that it's turned into something like it is today so and jelly was just touching on his opinion on the beef and i have to say i totally 100 percent agree with jelly roll i've been saying the same thing probably for two or three years now uh it's just i don't have influence especially like jelly he's killing it he's doing great he's got so many followers and killing it. he's very talented obviously he's if, if you know who i'm talking about so you know, he's got such power and influence, and I'm so happy he touched on that subject because I just felt, you know, annoyed and frustrated because I totally believe that. And I'm not saying his name or using him for clickbait. I know it probably set, it comes off as that, but it's not. I know Jelly. I actually worked with Jelly. If you're a fan of his Good Night Nashville album, I worked. I was on that. That was, you know, I had to do with that. But I'm not using him for clickbait. Uh, I'm using him because I agree totally with what he said and I feel it so much and in, in passionately specifically about what he was talking about that I just felt like I needed to touch on it. And so I have to agree with Jelly. I think the drama needs to come down because everybody's beefing with everybody and now all your songs would start sounding the same because everybody's pissed and beefing. So you got to realize in life that nothing good really comes from negative in no matter the field or genre or anything. It's just not good. You got to stay positive, man. It's, you know, hope is what we hold on to and and positive is hope. So you got to hold on to that. And Jelly also made a good point when he said, we as artists and musicians, we have so much power and influence as creators. He's so right. And, you know, 
personally, I'm a Christian and, you know, I like to think, you know, God is the creator and we are made in his image. So we are those who create. We're we're almost given like a special little ingredient and we're supposed to use that. And it's supposed to influence people in a positive way and in a good way. And music is art and it doesn't need to be about beef. It doesn't need to be about negative stuff. And I get there's things that trigger songs that are negative, that inspire people to write, but you can write a beautiful song out of a negative experience instead of putting anger out in the world. So that's my two cents about it. I agree hundred percent. I think the art needs to be cared for and respected as such and not just, you know, throwing a bunch of negative vibes out in the world because the world's crazy enough right now. Let's admit it. So, I appreciate you, Jelly Roll, for uh, for touching on that. Personally, it meant a lot to me. I uh, appreciate you, Grim, for posting it and uh, for showing me. So uh, if you don't know Jelly Roll or Grim, check out both their music. They're awesome dudes. They're very talented artists. And uh, that's just my two cents for the day. We'll see y'all. The topic about caring for music as art and putting positive back into the world instead of beefing with everybody and all your music sounding the same because everybody's mad at everybody. Everybody's songs start to sound the same, be about the same thing. So art used to be telling stories and telling how you felt, not angrily. And uh, I just think we need to get back to that. It's a, it's a topic I really care about and I'm really happy that uh, Jelly touched on it and I totally agree with him 100%.